What's up, YouTube? Uh, it is Saturday, April 4th, and I am going to be five months on tea in just a couple of days on my birthday on April 7th. So that's awesome. Uh, yeah, five months on tea. This is what my voice sounds like. This is what I look like. Um, not uh, too much going on in terms of like the arm muscle growth, but the muscle growth on my legs, which I don't really know how to show you, has been crazy. Um, just in the past couple of weeks, I have really noticed it, um, and I, it's mostly because I've been, I sort of started running a couple of, well, what, like a month and a half ago or something. Um, I started trying to run three times a week, so that's been really awesome, and I've seen a lot of muscle growth in my thighs and in my calves, um, and it's weird. I think I said this maybe like my two months on tea or something like that around then, that you notice a difference in the way that your legs look in like a gendered way. <laughs> like I look at my legs uh, when I'm wearing shorts at the gym or whatever and I see my legs in the mirror and I'm like, those look like dude legs. Like, <laughs> it's weird. It's, uh, and it, it's not just that like my legs are hairy, it's like the musculature has changed and now my legs look like guy legs. So that's kind of cool. Um, let's see, what else is going on? Five months on T. Um, Yep, just lots more hair growth as per usual. Really noticing it on my stomach now, and it's kind of like creeping up slightly. Um, and my arms, a little bit. I haven't noticed it too much recently. Um, yeah. Oh, I noticed this week that my veins are like crazy. Um, I've never really noticed this before, but uh, especially just on my hands, I noticed that my veins, maybe you can't see because of the lighting, but like, I can, all my veins stick out more than they used to now, so I don't know, I don't know what that is about uh, veins on guys, like, is that because your muscle growth is like pushing your veins closer to the surface of your skin, or is it that you have like more increased blood flow, or I have no idea what it is, but it's kind of crazy that I can see all these veins on my hands now. Um, and, I mean, you can't really, you can see my veins pretty well, like when they have to take blood at the clinic, you can see my veins pretty well on my arms, so that hasn't really changed. Um, yeah, not too much else for, um, for physiological changes. Um, my voice continues, I think, to get a little bit deeper every month. Um, and it's fun that I can... Like, I notice it especially in my singing voice, like when I'm singing at church and whatever. I usually hum through, like when we're singing hymns in church, I usually hum through the first whole verse to make sure that, like, my voice isn't going to freak out. And then I sing the rest of the verses just because my voice does weird things now. And uh, I, was in a, I was in a shop uh, two days ago, and this girl came up and was like, Hey, how's it going? Are you finding everything? And I was like, Yeah, fine! <laughs> like, I didn't mean for it to come out like that, but it just cracked funny, and then I was like, Oh dumb. But it's just one of those things that happens, and I'm just so glad that my voice now sounds like I hear it in my head that it doesn't matter if it cracks sometimes. Um, so yeah, that's about it for physiological changes. Um, in terms of mental social changes, um, I, um, I've noticed just the, this past week, okay, let me start over. This past week, um, I bought a new bike, and by new I mean really old. Um, I bought an 83 Schwinn Traveler, so this bike is like, what, four years older than me? Five years older than me? Um, but I sold my old bike and got this new bike with the money, and I sold my old bike for $200, I got the new bike for $125, and then I put $75 worth of work in it, getting it like up and running again. So really, I spent $0 on this bike, which is pretty cool. Um, and I'm, I'm glad of, because I don't, I can't, I feel like I can't spend money right now, because I'm saving up for top surgery and, and stuff, so it was cool to get a new thing, even though it didn't really cost me any money. Anyways, um, I got this new bike, and a friend of mine at work is really into bikes, and, and, um, sort of tricking bikes out and restoring bikes and stuff, and so I've been talking with him about just sort of <laughs> the things that I could do with my new bike and um, things that I could add and whatever, and it's just so much fun. And I brought my bike in to the shop yesterday to put new tires on it, and um, I got new wrap for the handlebars and stuff. And um, 
I don't know. I brought it into this bike co-op, which is super awesome because if they're not busy, they'll let you just like stand around and, and watch them work on your bike and they'll explain what they're doing to you, which is really cool. So I just stood there and the guy was like teaching me how to like put on a new tire and whatever. And um, the point of this story is that I'm feeling, it feels so awesome to be in, <laughs> to just be like, we're guys working on bikes. I don't know. It just feels so good. Um, to be sort of in that, um, I don't know what it is, like this sort of, this, um, masculine subculture of like, we're working on stuff, you know, and, um, and it just makes me feel good. It makes me feel like a guy, and I like that. Um, and it's fun to just talk about, like, different parts and what you want to put on it, and this is what wrenches you use, and I love putting things together and taking things apart and building stuff, and so it's just so awesome to be able to do that and and to be um, just like one of the guys working on your bike. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm feeling really good about sort of socially being seen as male, and that's pretty awesome because that's how I see me, so it's nice to have other people see me that way. Um, yeah, I just feel like a guy this week. I feel like a guy, like, I mean, I always feel like a guy, but I mean, I feel like <laughs> I'm being recognized, um, this week, so that feels pretty good. Uh, yeah, so I'm turning 27, uh, in three days, and that's really cool. Um, 27, that's kind of, like, I kind of, uh, I used to freak out a little bit about, like, oh my gosh, I'm getting closer, closer to 30, I don't have my life together, and whatever. And, um, and I think all 20 year olds probably worry about that. Um, just being like, I don't know what I'm doing. Guess what? Nobody knows what they're doing. It's fine. Um, so yeah, but I'm not really freaking out about it or anything. It's just another birthday and I'm excited to be alive and, and be 27 and yeah. So it's kind of, it's one of those things where when, sorry, this is getting long. One, last thing I'm going to say. Uh, is that some trans people talk about how they're, like, amazed that they've made it to the age that they have. That, like, they either, either they thought that life would not be livable and, um, you know, that they wouldn't be able to stay alive for as long as they have, um, or, like, something along those lines, you know? And I, while I was, uh, only, I only really got to that super deep place of, like, I can't survive like this anymore one time. Um, and it was just a couple of years ago, and that really prompted my coming out to people. Um, but it was never a point where it's like, I can't imagine being 27, or I can't imagine being 30. Like, I could always imagine being older and being myself, but I could never imagine being older and being female. <laughs> like, I couldn't imagine, like... And, and when I'm 35, I will look like this as a 35-year-old woman. And it was like, no, like, I just couldn't imagine, um, I couldn't imagine what it would be like to be female as I got older. There just was a giant blank there. So it's amazing now to feel like I'm filling in my future. Like, it's filling in in my head. Like, this is what things could be like, or this is what I could be like in 5 or 10 or 15 years or whatever. Um, so it's amazing to have that feeling of, like, I can see my future now, not because I didn't believe it was there, but because I just couldn't understand it the way that it had been painted for me, you know? So, anyways, excited about the future, excited about turning 27. It's Easter this weekend, and I love Easter. Um, my birthday is always right around Easter, and so Easter and my birthday are just kind of like, spring, yay! So, yeah, I'm feeling good, and I hope you guys are all doing well. And I will be back on Wednesday with a transgender and Christian video. And I'm really excited about that as well. So I hope you guys are all having a good week, a good weekend, and a good Easter. And, uh, or Passover. It's also Passover. Uh, yeah, last night started Passover. So happy Passover. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys all in a couple of days. Bye.